Experiment number six. Experimental determination of molar mass of magnesium using molar volume of hydrogen gas. Objectives. To develop the skill of the determination of relative atomic mass of metals. For chemical reactions involving gases, Gas volume measurements provide a convenient means of determining stoichiometric relationships. Hydrogen gases evolve when certain metals are reacting with acids. As shown here, magnesium reacts with HCl and forms magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. The pressure of the dry hydrogen gas is calculated from Dalton law of partial pressures. Since volume of hydrogen gas is known, the number of moles of hydrogen gas collected can then be calculated from the ideal gas law. The mass of magnesium strip that was reacted is known. Therefore, we can calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium as shown here. These are the chemicals and equipments needed for the experiment. Stand, beaker, graduated cylinder, coke, magnesium strip, copper wire, clamp, HCL, thermometer, barometer. First add 50 ml of HCl solution to the bottom of the graduated cylinder. Pour water gently on top of HCl until the graduated cylinder is completely filled. This prevents mixing of HCl and water therefore reaction does not start until the setup is inverted. Fix the magnesium strip to the tapered end of the cork with a hole and place this cork on top of the graduated cylinder. Invert the graduated cylinder quickly and dip it in a water container. The reaction starts with the diffusion of HCl to the metal and the evolved gas is collected in the inverted cylinder. When the levels of water in the cylinder and beaker are equalized, the volume of the gas is measured. Let's look at the observations and conclusions. Magnesium reacts with HCl and produces a colorless gas. As shown here, weight of the magnesium strip was 0.07 grams. Volume of hydrogen gas produced was 75 cubic centimeters. Temperature was 30 Celsius and the partial pressure of water was 
31.8 mm of mercury. We can calculate the pressure of dry hydrogen by subtracting the vapor pressure of water from the total pressure. We can use the table provided to find the vapor pressure of water as a function of temperature. After calculating the amount of moles of hydrogen that was produced in the experiment, we can use stoichiometry between magnesium and hydrogen gas to find the amount of moles of magnesium. Then we can calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium as shown here. 